I never really got good at the game to this day, with my most recent completion being Tower of Alien Radiance located in Zone 5. I, like many others, used to suck ass at Jato. I started playing August 4th, 2019, which was the date that the background video was uploaded. But let's go back to 2019 to see how I got here in the first place. The main reason I even played Jato back in 2019 was because of how banger the music was, bro. I mean, just like, listen to this for a minute. But I never really spent much time on it, and during the Christmas event of 2019, I just kinda stopped playing for a couple of months. I picked the game back up shortly after COVID, and I started grinding Tower of Stress, and I, I got a little angry. I, I did not like the tower that much, because I kept failing at like floor 5 and 6. After I beat Tower of Stress, I quit the game for another 9 months, and then when I came back, I decided to do Citadel laptop splitting, which, well, just, just watch the video. I would love to say I got really demotivated after that fail, but I didn't. I kept going. And a couple months later, I decided to go for my second run, Tower of Extreme Dystopia. I would say, you know, my first run because such a, like, massive um, milestone for any Jato player, but I didn't really record it. So here's a, a photo of the win message. Anyways, now on to Tower of Ext Extreme Dystopia. And the real world is not an idea, it is not words. Reality is this kind of existence. But my amazing luck doesn't end there. It does. Uh, I did not beat my first SC until February of 2022. It took a year to go from remorseless to soul crushing. A whole ass year. Shortly after my TODC completion, I started grinding Tower of Thinning Layers, and, well, I beat it after two months of non stop grinding. It was probably, to this day, my most, like, OH MY GOD, I DID IT, completion I've ever had. Because even, like, TOAR was just like, cool. You know, I did it. Nice. And Boa Tata was like, HOLY SHIT, HOLY SHIT, I, I DID THIS, I, AH, AH, OH MY GOD. My next SC completion was in December 18th of 2022, and it was Tower of Double Trouble. I also did spend an hour and a half on Seaside, um, but hey, at least it's all recorded. For once in the nearly five years that I've been playing Jato, I felt unstoppable. On February 10th, 2023, I beat Tower of Inevitable Failure. And just two days later, I beat Tower of High Adrenaline. My friend Pufferfishy was telling me to beat my first exchange, and I was like, I'll think about it. You know, I'll try it. So I had to try out Tower of Bloodthirsty Kinos to do my first extreme. And, well, I didn't think I was ready, but after three days, I got to floor eight with very little preparation or practice <laughs> um over the next week or so i kept getting to floor nine and ten right i got to the outside final outside three times and all three times i failed so i was like you know what i'm gonna stop playing this tower and i just went up and grinded tower points for i don't know the next eight months or so on december 2nd 2023 i was like you know what fuck it let's just play thanos tower see how far i get and on that same day, with no practice, not even warmed up, I beat it. It only took 48, 46 minutes and 28 seconds, and I was like, damn, you know what? Maybe I should go for my first extreme.
Yeah, this whole montage was a fucking joke. <laughs> uh, so this was recorded back when I was like, you know, failing and loop failing and stuff. Um, the actual reason I won was because Strawberry bet me $5 that I could beat it in the next 24 hours. And I said, bet that. To a, like, n the next morning, beat it. Let's fucking go, guys. December 22nd, no, 21st, 2023, at 7 p.m. exactly, I beat my first extreme. All thanks to Stro. And, you know, he gave me, he said he was going to give me 5 Robux if I beat it, or $5 worth. He gave me 10. So, W Stro in the chat, guys, subscribe to that YouTube channel, alright? You fucking love him. On January 8th, 2024, I beat Tower of Terrifying Beauty, but no one cares about that, because that tower sucks. Just kidding. I had a really fun time with it, but I didn't record any footage besides one TikTok, but I'm not sharing my TikTok. So yeah, um, two extremes down, guys. A couple more to go. Let's get through this. Come on. It took 10 months to beat Thanos Tower after I beat Tower of High Adrenaline. Guess how long it took between Tower of Terrifying Beauty and Tower of Helpless Hell? 11 days. Now, after I beat Tower of Helpless Hell, I was like, alright. You know, I think I'm ready to do my first Terrifying. But I didn't know what to do. I didn't really know what I wanted to do. And then Stro said something amazing. So, I decided to do TOR. Um, I was going to do TOGF, but after putting a questionable amount of time into it. I was like, all right, all right, Tower. So I started playing Tower of the Mutants, and I started grinding it every day. I found the tower really fucking fun. And, you know, just about a month after I beat Tower of Helpless to Hell, you know, I beat Tower of the Mutants. I was like, damn, you know, good ass tower. Mwah. Chef Kiss. Still pro probably one of my favorite towers to this day, although it hasn't been long since I beat it. As of today, March 21st, 2024, I am grinding Tower of Augmented Misery. And, well, uh, I've had some pretty good luck so far. It only took me, like, four days to get to Floor 8, which is very nice progress. Uh, but here's a fail I had on Floor 8 outside, which is also my personal best. I was pixels off from basically getting to floor 9. Pixels. But my dumbass decided to hold W and D on a flat wall. Which, well, 